this episode is all about our brand new 10 meter event dome and we're going to show you how we built the base how we built the dome getting the cover on and then getting it ready for our first event So it is now May and we have been talking about this event dome build for literally months, right from February when we started the landscaping. We can now see that we have quite a bit of greenery. It's all greened up quite nicely. So I'm pleased about that. However, we're still in this sorry situation of block leveling. Now I know we've done it in completely the wrong way. Probably should have just poured a concrete slab, happy days. But because of planning permission, trying to make it as temporary as possible, breeze block and uh, a four by two floor and sterling board seemed to be the most sensible solution at the time. However, there's over 200 of these breeze blocks that we're leveling individually to each other. So we've managed to do the this half and I'm now starting on this third quarter down that side there. So basically what we're doing and it's so painstaking and boring you probably don't even want to hear about it so we've got this laser level it's the most basic it's not a beep beepy one it's just a, just a laser and we have fashioned this little device here so that when you put it in the bottom of the block of, without the block on it the laser should be in line with the bot there and when the block is on it then the laser should be on the black line that says top so what we're doing is going around, stamping in this bit here to make it flat, or not to make it flat, to compact it, then getting it level with this, then putting the block on and making sure it's level again. So it is hours and hours and hours and hours of work. Um, so I'm just basically trying to blitz it today. I'm gonna to do the whole school day. I've got till four o'clock to get as much done as I possibly can because Brian's booked in scaffolding to build the dome and for the, like a week's time and he's booked in friends to come and help us build the cover over so come hell or high water it's got to get done so I'm just going to crack on and keep leveling these blocks. Okay it's a uh... About quarter to seven, uh, Saturday morning, I've just come out to do the hopefully the last of the block leveling. Um, I've got my hot rug beaner because that's all I drink. And you can see we've done the three quarters, I've got one quarter left. Brian's been out and um, moved all the blocks and then tampered down so I've got some nice neat holes. Um, so I'm just going to finish off these last four tampering and then I'm just going to see if I can get it all done. This is it. This is the final block to go into a hole that probably isn't level for it. Ugh. Let's just have a quick check. Uh, no, I need to build that up quite a bit. But anyway, it has been a three month slog. But now hopefully it should all start coming together. We should be able to build the framework tomorrow, Monday. Dome's going built on Thursday. Friends are coming to help us put the cover over on Saturday. And then it will be done. We're finally now at the stage of building the framework. So Brian did pretty well yesterday getting this all done. Um, so he had to go and get all the wood out of the container and then lay it down and basically make sure that all the parts are 1.2 meters apart to fit the sterling board. The wood's all a bit twisted and warped. So we need to really think about that as we're building it. So now I have gone and got some more wood and I'm just gonna try and finish off getting all these lengths in and cutting it all to the 10 meters to start with. Everything's screwed into the middle beam now and I'm happy that I've cut everything to exactly a 10 metre circle. So I've just been and got the chop saw, I've kind of got all my wood that I've, all my off cuts that I've left to go in for all the cross beams. I managed to get four bits of sterling board on the roof of my car, God knows how, because um, it was a struggle. Sled it, sterling board, slippery. So what I'm going to do now is start from the middle, get these two 
no the noggins in making sure that that's exactly 1.22 and it's exactly 1.22 down here so the sterling board sits perfectly and then i'm going to sit the sterling board on and screw it in and do it as i go we've now been working on this base for a good few days it's uh quarter to nine in the evening luckily we've got nice light evenings at the minute so it's just we've just got these couple of bits and then that side to do but the plan was to build the dome tomorrow and I'm so gutted that we're not on the schedule that we wanted so I'm just going to basically keep going and do as much as I possibly can tonight before I burn out and then we'll have to just finish it together tomorrow and hope that we can get the dome build started tomorrow. I'm so gutted, I'm so nearly there, I've just got to finish that one and then do those two but the light is failing and um, yeah it all went a bit wrong today, I had um, freelance mum networking, I had to do that, I couldn't not do that because I run it and then I a chap came to have a look at the site because they want to start a glamping site in West Sussex where they are and so they wanted to come today he only phoned me up yesterday. He wanted to come today to have a look at the domes. So um, that kind of lost me an hour. So I just, I'm so gutted. It's just about 10, 10 o'clock and um, I just can't do any more and I've nearly run out of screws. So we're not going to be able to build the dome tomorrow because we're going to have to finish this base and I don't know when we're going to do it. So this morning, Brian finished off the last bits that I cut that I couldn't do in the dark. Um, and we've started getting the sterling board on. Um, so we're just getting as much sterling board as we can and then we'll do all the edge pieces and then make sure it's exactly 10 metres. And <clears throat> so we haven't finished the base. We haven't built the dome. We've now finally finished all the edge pieces. It's literally taken us the entire day. So um, what time is it now? Four o'clock. So we need to put all the sterling board on and then cut it and then we will have to think about dome building tomorrow the problem how. is we've already got the scaffolding here we've hired the scaffolding for the week and we've got to get it done by sunday because we're going on holiday to wales to see brown fields i can't believe all these little spiders that keep climbing on us i know everywhere so yeah we're having a little glamping trip to frown fields which is very exciting for brian's birthday however there's no dome built and we've got to get it built and we want a tight schedule yeah like everything's gone horribly wrong it just wrong. takes it all takes so 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 much longer than you think it's going to but it's now the framework is completely done and now we just need to get the sterling board on chop it job done <laughs> here i am it's 20 past eight and vicky's just gone to go put the kids to bed and i'm just about to cut the circle into this so that i can work out exactly what's left to do so i need to obviously just patch up this and make it circular as you can see i've got my line drawn where i will be following and cutting and so next job yep cut the circle but yeah i don't really feel like doing this i've been out here since seven o'clock this morning like i said it's 20 past eight and i'm pretty broken so we are days and days behind schedule and we are still building this sodding base but we're so nearly there now we've just literally got to cut off these very last edge pieces round here to make the whole complete 10 meter circle we started bringing up the poles um i'm a bit concerned about the build of the dome because all the other ones are sort of 3v which means that there's only three different sized poles but this one i don't know there's about 11 different sized poles so it's going to make life a little bit trickier but uh, we've decided that we're going to call today a day once we finish the base and then we're going to start afresh with the whole dome build tomorrow well today's an epic day it's been a long time coming i think it's taken us about three months to get to this point today we have to spend the whole day building this dome and there are five different size main poles whereas the other domes have been three so that's gonna be a bit of a challenge yeah. and then when you do the doors there's a whole load of other size extra poles you have to put in so uh i think yeah i think it's one thing be a at a time stressful. yeah yeah we'll get the main dome built we've got the scaffold tower and uh hopefully it'll all go to plan the bit i'm not looking forward to though is pulling the cover over however we're hoping that we're going to have some help to do that yeah. because normally it's just the two of us but i don't somehow think we'll be able to do that just the two of us on i'm this. glad you agree <laughs> although 
if we really have to, we've got a scaffold tower, we've got a tractor, I'm sure we could make a plan. No, we're going to get a group of people in to help us, we're going to have a dome cover putting on party and it'll be fine. Oh, okay, well, we'll right. just get cracking. Yes, let's get going. So it's great because we've got Mel and Eddie helping us, which is has made such a difference because Mel is in charge of basically looking and telling me is it A or is it B and then we're both screwing them both together at the top and then Brian's going around and tightening so it's making it so much quicker so now it gets to the point where we can't reach anymore so we're gonna have to get on the scaffolding but this whole set are just A so I'm gonna sit at the top of the scaffolding and then Eddie's gonna wheel me around I think while I screw the A's in so we'll give that a whirl. I'm so pleased that it's done. My hands are black, your hands black? My hands are black. Yeah, I've squashed my finger, but it is finished. Um, thank goodness for our helpers, who are actually our guests that are staying, but they're very good friends of ours. Um, this is um, Eddie, who is Faye from Freelance Mum, come on Faye. Um, Hello. Um, she actually has, is having the inaugural event in this dome, because we're going to have a Freelance Mum mega meetup. So that'll be really exciting. So um, when we told them that we're building a dome and she's like, and this is going to be done for the 12th of June, which is in literally like, what, two weeks? Um, she didn't believe us, but look, there's a dome. It's amazing. It's so amazing. I'm so excited. I'm really proud you've done this, Vicky. Oh, and thank you. The, we're the first event. I can't yes, believe it. It is very Wasn't exciting. Wasn't expecting to see this this weekend. No, I'm sure you no, weren't. I thought no. you probably thought well, it might be here already. Um, so we've got to figure out whether we've got, I think we've got two doors, but I'm questioning whether we've got two doors, so we need to check that. And to get the doors in, then we can get the cover over, which is what we're most concerned about. Um, but we're hoping our very good friends will stick around and help us. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll do it tomorrow. Excellent. I'm not going till I know it's complete. So okay, ready for, ready for use. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so now the dome is up, we need doors. And we're having two doors, one here and one over there. Um, but we need to figure out where the door's going. So basically you have to take away this whole section. So this is, this is the map of how you fit together all the A's, B's, D's, C's and E's. And then we have to take away this whole section and then reconfigure it so that basically it ends up empty. And then you add in extra poles to then fit in this hexagonal door frame. Um, so we're just taking away this whole section here and then we'll take away the whole section over there and then fix the door frame. Oh! <laughs> you trying to wake the glamping side up? No, not really. I'm here helping. <laughs> All right, I'm helping. So we've now got both the doors in. So we've got a nice door frame over here and then one the other side so that we can get a bit of a through draft going as well. And um, next is the cover. So Brian and Eddie just popped the cover on the tractor, Brian can't see because <laughs> the cover's in the way. It weighs an absolute ton. So this is the bit that's stressing me out the most really. But we'll uh, try our best. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. So yeah, it's been a couple of days and this is the finished dome. Although it's not quite finished because we tried to get the panoramic window in, but we were so exhausted and we were trying to pack to go away to Frown Fields. So this does not line up. Like it needs a whole load of jiggery pokery. Um, and then we also got the zip doors in. So these are just the normal standard doors that come with true domes. Um, obviously you can get the wooden door kits, but we've just gone with the zip doors. So we can basically open this whole side up and then we've got 
the other door in here, I'll show you inside. So that's got a door, a zip door as well. And then it's got the three like portholes over there. So this is the event dome. Um, it's really echoey, obviously, because there's no insulation in here at all. So we're just working out ways that we can possibly hang some acoustic clouds. We're just working out. The problem is, now to hang anything, the scaffolding's gone back, so we can't now get up to the top there. So we're working out whether we need to buy scaffolding, whether we can hang them slightly lower, but I don't think our ladder's even going to get anywhere near anywhere up there. So yeah, now we just need to try and sort this window out. Um, and then we're basically done with the build. And then it'll be time to sort the interior out. So after quite a lot of jiggery pokery, we've managed to get this all in neatly. Um, and now we're just doing these, because um, they've all got straps so that you can tie them onto the dome. So we're just tightening those up. But it's absolutely chucking it down now, which is good because the glass needs watering, so you're happy. But not when you're trying to finish a dome off. Well, that's been a long time coming and a lot of fun and stress and stress. goodness yeah. knows whatever else. I don't recommend doing the base the way that we did the base though. Leveling those blocks and splitting those blocks. No, nope, that was an idea. absolute nightmare. However, it was the cheapest way to do it, but... Cheapest, but most labour intensive, as I said all along, yeah. yeah. So, uh, I suppose you decide how you want to do your base. Let us know in the comments how you would like, to, would have done it. I'm just pleased it is done. And mm -hmm. then in another episode, which definitely won't be next week, no. um, we will be getting the floor down and trying to make it into more of a, an interesting event space ready for our first event, which is literally next weekend. Well, you've got a lot of work to do. <laughs> we will see you again if we're still alive on our next video.